I want you to talk to us about some of these emails. I know you've seen them. Let's take a look at one of them that was sent by Ferguson Police Sergeant. This is a sergeant. This is a leader in the police force, William Mudd. He resigned following the DOJ investigation. Uh, and then to Mary Ann Twitty, the court clerk for Ferguson Police, she was fired. This is comparing these two dogs to welfare recipients. The email read, my dogs are mixed in color, unemployed, lazy, can't speak English. They expect me to feed them, provide them with housing and medical care. I mean, you see something like that. What's, what's your reaction to that? You know, those emails are absolutely atrocious. You know, the old saying goes, silence gives consent. Uh, for leaders within that department, within that city to remain silent, on those types of terrible issues and not stand up and say something and continue to allow that behavior to take place uh, on taxpayers' time uh, and with their resources uh, is very disappointing. Uh, we know these issues uh, existed in the city of Ferguson, but certainly not to that extent. Uh, if they were making those types of statements about the president of the United States, can you imagine what they were saying uh, about the common everyday citizen uh, that walk the streets of that city. Yeah, and the idiocy of putting it on the work email, too. Uh, Tom, you, you've seen these emails. Some of them, as, as John mentioned, they took aim at President Obama, at the First Lady. This was an email that was sent by Marianne Twitty. It included an image of former President Ronald Reagan feeding a baby monkey. And beneath the photo, there's a caption. It says, rare photo of Ronald Reagan babysitting Barack Obama in early 1962. There's another photo that was sent by Twitty. It was captioned, Michelle Obama's high school reunion. I mean, these are, these are horrible, horrible images uh, and, and connotations that they're talking about here. Can, I mean, what do you say as a law enforcement professional and you're looking at uh, some in law enforcement sending these? Well, frankly, themselves? Brianna, I'm embarrassed and ashamed as a law enforcement official that another law enforcement issue, uh, official, a sergeant at that, could send such a thing. And I completely agree with John who else knew about it of higher rank in this police department that either condoned it or encouraged it or just allowed it, even by silence, as John mentioned? It's appalling to me.